Hey guys, welcome back to By the People. We have a special event for the holiday here. We have the Black Friday and all that coming up. I'm in uh, Protector's Enclave right now, getting ready to do some Astral Diamond, Diamond runs. Got okay, my little dungeon chest key here. Uh, right now, it's part of this special event. Let me show you something here. I'll go up to the home page and go to the calendar and wait for it to come up here for just a second. Maybe it'll come up. Maybe it won't. There we go. If you look here, we've got two times Astral Diamonds, which is really cool. You can get a bunch of extra goodies there. Uh, two times Enchantments, Guild Marks, Refinement Points, Experience, and the Wondrous Bazaar is discounted. Uh, right now, I'm interested in the Astral Diamonds, the sweet pot, spot, the stuff we need to buy everything. I got lucky and uh, some of my Zen conversions came through, so I have a little bit of Zen to spend. Uh, there's a little bit of mystery on what the discount will be for tomorrow. Uh, it usually has been 50%, but um, here now it might only be 25%. Uh, but for a while I was hearing there was no discount coming up, so I'm just glad to know. It looks like we'll have something. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what's going on. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and do some dungeons. Can do Temple of the Spider, one I like to do. And it's fairly quick. We get double the Astral Diamonds for doing this. Show you going to my inventory. And right now I'm starting off with zero rough Astral Diamonds. Get this thing queue up. And we'll get ready to start. Hopefully, uh, this will just take a second. Didn't know if you caught it the other day, I got myself a puppy. A little white German Shepherd puppy, as a matter of fact. And she's kind of into everything. Seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm sure I'll be happy soon with the purchase. But right now, it's been a little bit of a trial. So bear with me. <laughs> I may have to do a little bit odd skipping around here. I stopped to take care of the dog. Also running off a different computer. Did some upgrades onto one in uh, my other room, but uh, I'm not recording in there right now. So hopefully everything will go smoothly. Anyway, we're gonna run through here and do this. And, uh, I'll get back and show you what we have. Kill a couple things. You know the drill. Or maybe you don't know the drill yet. There are people that still don't do these dungeon runs. I know when I first started, I just played the quest lines. I didn't care very much about the Astro Diamond runs. Didn't pay that much attention to it. I was just interested in uh, exploring the game and enjoying the story wasn't until a little later that I started doing the Astral Diamond Feeding Frenzy. And now I'm cursed with it. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> this is an easy way to do it, just doing these runs though. I do these, do the skirmishes. They're fairly quick, relatively painless. And uh, especially if you don't have any Astral Diamonds, it's a good way to start building up that stockpile. Okay, made it through the dungeon. Check out the money situation. And look at that, 13,000 Astral Diamonds just for running one time. Know what I'm going to do? Of course you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this again. These double AD periods are awesome. Definitely worth taking advantage of this stuff. They don't come around that often. When they do, you have to do this. No, I don't want that one. Temple of Spiders usually a minute or two quicker, i found, than a Cloak Tower. Some people prefer Cloak Tower. I prefer this one. And here we go again. Yeah. 
So, you know that puppy I was telling you about while the puppy went to sleep? <laughs> All puppies are cute, so they survive. Oh, there goes my cat. The cat has been hiding since I brought the puppy home a couple days ago. Which is a shame. I thought the cat might enjoy the puppy to some extent. So far, it's not the case. sleeping at my feet at the moment. And the cat just slipped by. Not sure what he was doing, but uh, he's been afraid to leave the bedroom for what, two, three days now. I'll give you a little total on this in just a moment. Okay, we got some more goodies, a couple more seals of the adventure. And look at this. The gold stuff up to 24,000 plus astral diamonds. That's what I like. That's why we're here. All right, next on the list, go for some uh, more Astro Diamond action. Go to my queue, select Epic Dungeon. Go ahead and queue up Kessels. It's been running a little bit slow lately though, so probably <coughs> probably won't get in there. I'll go ahead and throw in Thorn of the Door from Gods. All right, now we wait. Hopefully not long. Usually this queue queues up pretty quickly. I'm not talking to experienced players. You know that already. Like I said, there are still plenty of people that don't mess around with the dungeons and skirmishes. That's who I'm talking to at the moment. There we go. All right, throne is up. <coughs> Now keep in mind, I can do this with, uh, I currently have eight characters that I can use. Not all of them are level 70, but uh, I can run most of them through these routines, which is pretty cool. Hello, somebody's sleeping back there. Hello. Wake up. Well, this is not pleasant. Okay, we're into the throne room. They woke up.
Oh, look at that. Got a reward. Level up. Okay, that was nice. Let's see, you got a ring of charging bull, plus three, plus almost 6,000 astral diamonds. Pretty sweet stuff. Let's see if I have an extra key in here. I can make keys. I do have an extra key. Now, let's see. Might as well make another one now, so don't forget. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. Beautiful. Ah, oh, ring of sieging, plus two. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save that. Pretty happy with that haul. That's pretty nice. That was definitely well worth it. We'll go through and do that one again, of course. And get in the queue. See where that ring went in my inventory. Oh, this. Yeah, I got this. Go ahead and open that. That gives me four of the demonic like, core. I can use that to purchase other items I can salvage, which is always a lot of fun. So we're up to 30,000 astral diamonds. Plus, I got that ring, which I can salvage. Let's see where it went here, right here. So I can get rid of that too. We'll do that in a little bit. Take another run. Try to load up Kessels again. Like I said, Throne of the Dwarven Gods usually pops pretty quick. So does Prophecy of Madness. And we'll wait again. It's a quick 30 thousand plus astral diamonds makes the world a better place and we're waiting well we'll just happen to wait 
Anyway, I'll show you the total once I get through this run. Okay, we didn't get any rings on this one, but I got almost another 6,000 Astro Diamonds, which is pretty sweet. And the quest continues. <laughs> I like making Astral Diamonds. Instead, somebody recognized me on that map, uh, recognized the channel. I appreciated it. Uh, it was pretty cool. It's always nice. Okay, had to take a minute to do a little chat there with uh, somebody who recognized my character, the game channel. <laughs> it's always fun when that happens. All right, let's go down here and salvage this puppy too. Don't need it, so guess what? Turn that into some money. Eight eight hundred, baby. And what's that bring us to? Huh? Is it music to my ears? It is. 45,000 astral diamonds almost, guys. That's what I like to see. Alright. Now, for those of you that are not level 70, this is not something you could do. Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to do this one, but uh, you could probably, I think, uh, you drop down yeah you could do uh, if you're 60 plus this uh, master of the hunt that'll get you some astral diamonds uh you, the base quantity would be the same so you could get uh, almost 6,000 uh, for doing that one or the dread legion uh master of the hunt's pretty quick uh that's a nice one you don't get the item drops like you do in throne of the dwarven gods uh, which can really boost it up if i got in a second ring which you do often times in that that would have given me another uh uh, 8,000 plus astral diamonds, but uh, hey, it didn't happen, and that's okay. That's pretty sweet. Now, what's going to happen, I'll continue working my way through these. Um, there are other things you can do. Um, these are just simple and quick, uh, doing these dungeon runs and the skirmishes. Uh, that's why I do that. Uh, you saw I picked up some of that demonic core. I could come over here if I wanted. Whoops, no, wrong place. I have this. I can spend this. I did uh, some Kessel's runs the other day, so I'll go ahead and spend some of this. And what, I'm going to get one of these right now. I might do some more Kessel's later, because you get item drops through that. Oh, there goes that new puppy I got. He just fought at my cat. <laughs> Okay, I think I got the pets under control. Take a quick run over here, salvage that since I'm here. Now I can continue on with this. I can do Dread Ring, do my weekly quests through that, uh, get double Astral Diamonds, do Sharandar, and. Uh, Let's see what the heck's the other one. Icewind, Icewind Dale. That's the other one. All right, so I got that ring I could sell. Gonna go ahead, go to the Underdark store right here, and go to the armor vendor. Drow craft armor, and you can see I have 942 demonic Ikora right there. Gonna go ahead and buy a couple of these little goodies. And I'm out of inventory space. All right, so let's just do this. Let's open up the inventory. I've got to convert some of this stuff over. Start doing some upgrades. Let's have that double RP weekend. Look at that, 11,000. Oh yeah, baby. That's nice. Go ahead and salvage this one for 5,500. Isn't that nice? Say, yeah, that's great. Dude, that's awesome. That's sweet. 
there. I have enough to buy one more. Wow, this mouse on this uh, computer is terrible. It's like I can't hit anything. You ever get that? Probably has a hair stuck in it. I hate it when that happens. Another 11,000. Yeah, we take it. Awesome baby. Now that's how you salvage. Isn't that nice? Up to 73,000. That really didn't take too long. I didn't time it tonight because I don't really care. I just wanted to share this with you to make sure you do this. Uh, hopefully you know about it uh, or paying attention because it will make a big difference. Okay, guys. Let me show you something. I did this character. Now I can go ahead and do PvP too and really boost that up. I'll, by the time I get through with that, I'll be uh, at real close to 100,000. But I can do that with many, many of these characters. I can do the basic dungeon runs with these guys. Uh, this guy, uh, Miss Scourge Warlock, I can do everything with him. Uh, this is the only guy I have right now that I can't do all of those better level um, Astral Diamond Halls with, but uh, pretty sweet. So I'll have quite a bit of money by the time I'm done. In fact, maybe I'll do a couple more. I'll show you what I have. If I did him a little while ago. I got distracted there. There's all sorts of things going on. Been getting different messages for people that want to uh, farm other astral diamonds and stuff. See, yeah, I got 56,000 for him already. That's really a uh, really good way to stock up on those astral diamonds to get those upgrades that you need. So we'll keep going. Okay, I got this guy through and I got another 54,000 astral diamonds and it continues. So it's a great way you can see to make astral diamonds. Make sure you get your butt out there and do this. Take advantage of it and uh, you'll be on your way. Thanks for watching. Come back so we can play again.